All right, this is lesson number 78 in Algebra 1, and this is called Rational Equations. Basically, a rational equation is an equation that we're going to use. We're going to put in, fra they're going to be in fractional form, and uh, we're going to learn how to solve those. So it's a pretty short lesson, so we're not going to go into a lot of detail here, but enough to kind of get your feet wet as far as how to do these. Now, this is a key thing. When you have an equal sign there, um, there's a real easy way to solve these. You hate fractions. We do not want to do fractions. So what we're going to do is learn how to get rid of those fractions. So what we're going to do is look at the denominators and find the common denominator. Common denominator of 2, 4, and 6. What are? What is the smallest number that 2 and 4 and 6 will go evenly into? Well, 4 goes into 4, 2 goes into 4, but 6 doesn't. 2 goes into 6, and 6 goes into 6, but 4 doesn't. So, you know, we look for a number that's a common denominator, and we find out that it's 12. What we're going to do is we're going to put a parenthesis around the whole thing and multiply each of these pieces times 12. All right, so let's do that. And I'm just going to write it out. 12 times y over 2 plus 12 times 1 over 4 equals 12 times y over 6. Don't forget to do the other side of the equal sign. 12 over 2 is 6. 12 over 4 is 3. 12 over 6 is 2. Fractions are gone. Alright, let's move this over. Move this over. Divide by 4. And y equals negative 3 fourths. And we're done. Alright, so it's a nice um, procedure in order to get rid of those blasted fractions. Alright, let's try another one. 2x over 7 minus 3x over 2 equals 1 third. Alright, common denominator here. Well, my first thought is 21 because I know 7 goes into it and 3 does, but it's an odd number so 2 doesn't. So what I'm going to have to do is go to a number all the way to 42. Because 7 goes into it, 2 goes into it, and 3 goes into it. So let's go ahead and write it as... Okay, now we look at this number and this number and divide. Okay, this number and this number, and it's 21. And this number and this number, and it is 14, 28, 14 times 1 here. Okay, so see what we did? We reduce these but we left this alone. Reduce these, left that alone. Reduce these, left that alone. Alright, now we can keep going and get 12x minus 63x equals 14. We're going to subtract those two. 60, 12 minus 63 it'd be 50, is negative 51x equals 14. Divide both sides by negative 51 those cancel and x is negative 14 over 51. Okay, so notice I've got a 51 down there and it's negative and I put the negative. It doesn't matter where you put the negative. You could leave it down here if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's go ahead and do two more and call it good. Alright, this is example 78.3. This is not done any differently than the rest of them. We're going to take the whole number and make it a fraction, just so that we have all fractions. And we're going to look for common denominator. We have a 2 and we have a 7. So the common denominator is a 14. 14, 2 goes into it and 7 does. So let's multiply. Oops, I don't know why I put an 18.
Okay. And now let's reduce this with this, and we get 7. This and this, and we get 2. And then this and this, we get 14. And that doesn't do anything. Alright, so we get 21y plus 16 minus 8y, so we distribute that equals 14 times 3 is 2832 283842 alright so we combine these 21 minus 8 is going to be what 13 y subtract 16 and we get 13y equals 42, 22, 26. So y equals 2. Alright, so the key thing is getting rid of those doggone fractions makes life so much easier when you do these. Alright, so let's jump into the last one and we will be done. Alright, last one. x plus 1 over 4 minus 3 over 2 equals 2x minus 9 all over 10. Okay, common denominator here, oh goodness, is going to be, let's see, 20. 4 goes into it, 2 does, and 10. So let's multiply the whole thing by 20. So 20 times x plus 1 over 4 minus 20 times 3 halves equals 20 times 2x minus 9 over 10. Let's multiply these out. That and that cancel and I have a 5. 20 over 2 is 10. 20 over 10 is 2. Okay, so notice what I did again. This and this reduced to 2, and then we write that. This and this reduced to 10, and we got that. This to this reduced to 5, and we have that. Alright, so let's go ahead and distribute. And combine. rid of that. Subtract 4x. Okay, try to get this done before the rain comes so loud that you can't hear me. Okay, add 25 to both sides. So x equals 7. And we are done. Alright, so getting rid of those fractions are going to be a lifesaver, especially in the future where we get to some real tough ones. Alright, so that's lesson number 78.